بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين أمين اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم أمين يا رب العالمين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني مما ينفعني وزدني علما يا أكرم الأكرمين My topic today is about normal anatomy of secondary pulmonary lobule. Here we see an external surface of the lung with multiple secondary lobules separated by lymphatics. A magnified one, it is as we see here. The secondary pulmonary lobule is the smallest basic anatomic unit of pulmonary structures and function. Each secondary pulmonary lobule is between 1 and 2.5 cm in diameter. Knowledge of the lung anatomy is essential for understanding of high resolution CT scan of the lung. Each secondary pulmonary lobule contains central pulmonary arteriole and terminal bronchiole and contain about 12 or fewer SNI bear secondary lobule. Secondary pulmonary lobule, SNOS, is the basic unit for gas exchange containing several generation of branching respiratory bronchiole, alveolar ducts, and alveoli. Pulmonary veins and lymphatics collect in the periphery of each secondary pulmonary lobule. There are two lymphatic systems Central network that runs along the bronchovascular marking, uh, bronchovascular bundle toward the central of the lobule, and a peripheral network that located within the interlobular septa and along the pleural lining. Connective tissue is called interlobular septa. It's in in cases each secondary pulmonary lobule. Thickening of interlobular septa can be seen on CT scan and suggest pathologic enlargement either venous or lymphatic spaces. On CT scan secondary pulmonary lobule we can see the central lobular artery sometimes as a fan dot and sometimes we see the septa normal septa at the periphery as seen in this cut here it is a magnified secondary pulmonary lobule with it is a regular in shape polyhedral supplied by central terminal bronchioles and branching from, from it a lobular bronchioles. And here we see also it is supplied by central pulmonary arteriole with its branching. And we have the, as we said, we have central lymphatic vessels around the bronchovascular bundle and we have the pulmonary veins surrounding the periphery of secondary pulmonary lobule also we have the lymphatic it is surrounding the pulmonary lobule on the periphery and we have the connective tissue stroma surrounding the periphery of the pulmonary lobule. 
In general, we should know the anatomy and the basic anatomy of each secondary pulmonary lobule because it is essential for understanding high resolution CT scan of the lung. In summary, we have the secondary pulmonary lobule supplied by central pulmonary artery and supplied by central terminal bronchiole containing multiple SNI and has lymphatic in the center and pulmonary veins in the periphery and lymphatic in the periphery. Thank you very much.